Have you ever wondered which amazing piece of online content you produced is bringing in the dollar through your website? Using UTMs can make your life as a data nerd that much simpler. So it's time to don your coding hard hat and use one simple piece of code that will help change the way you analyze web traffic forever. Time to input your source, medium, and content because Wednesdays are about to get giant. Hi, my name is Sam and welcome to Giant Wednesday, the only place to be to discover the wonderful world of digital marketing. Don't forget to subscribe and like and post comments. But today we are here to talk UTMs, my friend. And put simply, a UTM is a piece of code made up of text that is added to your URL, like that. And it tells any analytics tools a little bit more information about each link. If you ever wanted to feel like some top level coding genius, but maybe like me, lack the understanding of all the letters and symbols needed, then UTMs offer the next best thing. UTM stands for Urchin Tracking Module. Weird, I know, but aside from the word urchin, they do exactly what it says on the tin. Let me give you an example. You're running some new and exciting video content promoting your latest product. You've chosen to publish it across all social media platforms for maximum reach. You've included links to the product page on your site and followed a whole host of best practices and it's paid off. You've got loads of traffic to your website. Woohoo! But when you go further into your analytics, you can't work out what traffic came from your video or what came from the other promotional content you produced. How will you measure the return on that video? How will you know if it achieved your objectives? Was it even worth it? Who the hell knows? The solution here is, you guessed it, a UTM. They're a great way to stalk people across your site and even better, provide you with valuable insight to make your digital marketing efforts even better. Put simply, a UTM will allow you to see exactly what piece of content or marketing drove someone to your website and that's pretty handy information. So instead of Google Analytics telling you 20 people came from Facebook, you can actually see what exact post people clicked on in order to find your website. Pretty awesome. Adding UTMs can help you track and answer three very useful questions. In no particular order, these are, where is the traffic coming from? How is it getting there? And why is it going there? If we wanted to be geeks about it, we could simply say source, medium, and content. When you're done, it's going to look like this a long piece of ugly string together wording, or stunningly beautiful if you're into that kind of thing, which I am. There are hundreds of UTM generators out there, but we personally like to keep track of the ones we've already made in a handy spreadsheet, like the one that we've linked below. To make sure you're getting the most out of the builder, I'm just gonna quickly run through the sections that you need to fill out to UTMify your link. First up, the URL. This is the page that you want to send people to. So it would most likely be on your website. The URL is the direction or endpoint for all the traffic that you're going to generate. Next up is campaign name. This one's pretty self-explanatory. It's going to help you work out why the traffic is going to your website and helps you to segregate data and analytics later on. For example, some people use it to differentiate between types of sales that they're hosting, like spring sale and summer sale. This helps work out which particular campaign has been successful. Now it's time for the source. You want to know where they're coming from, don't you? In our UTM builder, you can select some top level sources from the drop down box, such as website, email, or social media platform. Source dictates how your audience sourced the content in the first place. Makes sense, right? Was it via an email or perhaps through a post on social media? You decide. Now you want to fill in the medium so you know how the traffic is getting there. For example, if you selected your source as an email, then you're going to want to use the medium to list the type of email it was to help separate it from all the other email campaigns you might have. For example, was it the summer newsletter perhaps? And finally, the content name. This is where you get specific and detail the actual element of that content that drove the initial click. Say in your email newsletter, you've linked to the web page in two different places using two different colored buttons. It would be good to know which colored button drove most traffic so that you can understand what works for your audience. You can type into this section, blue button, pink button. And there we go, easy. 
you've built a UTM. Well done. Now you understand what they're for and how to build one, you are an unstoppable force of coderie. You can find the information you built into the link through things like Google Analytics under the source medium sections using ad content as a second dimension. More on understanding Google Analytics to come in future videos, but taking a look at this, I can see clearly what worked and what didn't. So go wow your boss with your urchin knowledge and beautiful insights from the data collected. Be a hero and become known around the office as king of all data. That's it for today. Go forth and comment your views on this and give us a like and subscribe to see more great digital and marketing content every week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week for another Giant Wednesday. Peace.